Welcome back to another Mind Test mod review. Today we are looking at the Bulletin Boards mod. So as you can see here, we have two Bulletin Boards with um, lovely bulletins on them. And now before we get uh, too far into things, let's just take a quick look at how to make this. We have our basic Bulletin Board, which is just one piece of paper surrounded by wood. And we can also craft a copper bulletin board, which as you may have guessed is a piece of paper surrounded by copper ingots. There doesn't really seem to be any massive difference between the two outside of one thing, which uh, we will get to when we get to. So the basic bulletin board here um, has a cost of one paper. So we can click on any slot here on the bulletin board and we can give a title like hello world and then we can put some contents in here of i don't know we'll just do foobar i don't know what foobar ever came from but it's it's a thing and we'll post it to the bulletin board with this uh, letter icon and it'll cost us one paper and if you look down at the bottom so you have 94 paper and now i have 93 and my posting is now published on the board and if we look at the copper one cost one copper ingot. So we can do the same thing, except we'll do um, foobar, whoops. We'll do foobar as the title and the contents will do hello world. And we'll give this one the mail icon. And again, if you look, we'll have 94. And now I have 93. So yeah, pretty much that's how it works. You can pick anyone you want do your title do your contents i know i have a very loud keyboard sorry and you can pick your different icons to use and say uh you decide that oh you know what this you know I, that's that's really not a good title let's change it to you know we want to have a different title let's let's change up the uh the bulletin icon on it we'll change it to this um ribbon looking thing and it costs us one paper. And we'll go here and we'll say, we want to change this into a ribbon. Cost us one paper. And we'll go here and say, you know, we want to give it the title of hi. I don't remember what the icon was, but we'll just pick this one. Costs us one paper. And now we have a title showing. Fun little tidbit. If you try to create a bulletin with a title, but no body, it doesn't work but you can create a bulletin with contents and no title. You now have uh, this little spreadsheet chart looking thing. If you are on the bulletin board, you can, I was gonna say scroll, but you're really not scrolling, but you can switch through the different entries using the previous and next buttons. And of course, because I'm in a single player world, I always have the ability to edit the title and the contents because I have posted all of these, but, um, if this was a multiplayer world, I obviously would not have the ability to edit the title or the contents or to change or to delete. I would just have the option to go between them. Um, one little one little nitpick I had. Um, I was... I forget which one I was, I don't know. I had, a, I had a thing up and I was like, oh, I just want to close it. I'll just click the X button to close this screen. Not realizing it deleted it. There's no prompt. It's just, is gone. You don't get your paper back, which I suppose should come as no surprise. Like when you print something and put it on a piece of paper and put it up on a bulletin board. When you pull it down, you usually throw it out, right? You're not saving it to reuse. Are you? If you are, you're cheaper than I am. Congratulations. Um, so yeah, we have that. And like I said, we got the copper one. And another little tidbit. Uh, if you have these bulletins, like I have them here on this wall. If I look at the back side of the wall, dark little secret. <gasps> they're, they're global. So you can have your bulletins in different places in the world and something posted on one of them will be visible on all of them. But of course, only bulletin boards are the same type. So as you can see here, we have this random title with the ribbon looking thing. 
Not here. Not here. They are two different two different categories or however you want to call them. Now, obviously, we can only hold so many things here. How many is this? 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 64. We can hold 64 notes or bulletins on our bulletin board. What happens when somebody wants to add more? Oh wait, I guess I miscounted. That's seven. Yes, it is. That is seven. That's eight by seven. <laughs> My bad. Eight by seven. So that's uh, 56 bulletins. Um, I don't know the exact count, but once you get pretty close to full, the bulletin board will start automatically deleting the oldest bulletins. And there's... I don't know if I really want to call this an algorithm, but there is a method to how this works. So, and I quote from the README. For example, if Alice has one bulletin on the board, Bob has two bulletins on the board, and Colin has two bulletins on the board, then when it comes time to call the bulletin, the oldest one belonging to either Bob or Colin will be called. If that happens to be Bob's, then the next time to call, Alice will have one, Bob will have one, and Colin will have two. So the oldest of Collins' bulletins will be called. This ordering is done to try to balance things out fairly. Players that hog the board with multiple bulletins will have their bulletins called more often. But everyone's single most recent bulletin will stick around as long as possible. And so there you go. That is how the, the system is created. What, however you want to phrase it how it works to delete the oldest ones so the board doesn't actually fill up to max capacity. Um, I didn't really feel like creating a whole bunch of bogus posts on this to see how many it leaves open. My guess would be it only has to have one open spot so you can you know, click on an empty one to post because obviously any of these, if you click on them and you're not the person that posted them, you can just read it. So you have to have an open spot to click on to create. And yeah, you get you get all your icons. Um, and I wonder what happens. Okay, so if you hit the delete and you don't have anything, it doesn't cost you anything. Well, that's good. It'd be a real shame if deleting nothing costed you something. Again, you can switch between them. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um. You know, if you want to have like a a, a a public bulletin board, I guess would really be the best way to describe it. I don't, I can't think of like a super practical reason off the top of my head. Like, yeah, I can't. I mean, they're cool. They're neat. Just like a public messaging system, I guess, if you want to put a, you know, like, like a bulletin board. You know, I don't know why I'm trying to explain this. It works like a bulletin board. Like, if you don't know what a bulletin board is, I look it up on the internet, I guess. I'm not going to try to explain what a bulletin board is, though admittedly, um, I don't think I've seen a bulletin board in a very long time. Though that's kind of a lie, because my employer does have one in his office with different jobs on it. So, I suppose, they are still used. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this mod review. Um, if you want to download it, any of that good stuff, links are all on my website, which is linked right down below in the video description. Tune in next week for another mod review, and I will see you then.